Good day everyone, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to create a snow effect in GDevelop 5. And so first of all let's open the GDevelop here. I will show you a preview of what I'm going to show you how to do. Now here's our snow effect at an angle of the screen and as you can notice at this angle it's being deleted. So I will show you how to get that done. So I will open a scene and I will, I'm using um, scene properties, I'm using this color background 99C6FF. Okay, now let's click to add an object, we will be using particles and meter, click on that, object name, snow, particles kind, point, size, 3. Now this size is actually the size of um, what we call snow, that's the particle being emitted, so that's the size of it. You can actually um, choose the size you want depending on what you actually want for your game. So well, this one I think I will be using um, one size 1, I need it to be small. Okay, so now click to choose. Um, let's start opacity. Click on that. Um, when it starts, we need it to be white. That's the color of snow. And when it ends, we need it to like have something close to a background color. So I will be using eight ff one ff for it. Now apply that. Additive rendering and you check that and delete when out of particles. Now maximum number of particles display. This is the particle this is self explanatory because it's like the particles displayed on the screen at a particular time. Um you can actually also choose what you want, but I think I'll be using hundred. I want hundred to be the maximum number of particles showing. Um for snow I think we need more so um I'll just leave that 300. Number of particles in tank. I want it to be like for um, infinity, that's minus one for infinity here. Now, flow of particles, um, I'll leave that to 45. Minimum emitter force applied, 45. Maximum 40, 85, you leave that that way. Spray cone angle, this is the angle of the spray cone. Um, let's say that's one. And radius of a meter 300. Gravity of particles on the x axis. On the x axis, um, I said it's about minus 45. On the y axis, minus 1. And, and friction on particles, I said that to um, 2. Particle minimum lifetime. Let's leave that to about maybe something like three as the particle minimum lifetime in seconds, maximum lifetime um five. So stats particle start size hundred, particle end size hundred. Um, I think that's okay. That's all we need to get this um really nice snow effect apply. Now as usual, we need to drag and drop into our scene. Way to work. Let's run that. Yeah. Okay, now as you can see, the reason why it's not actually going in this direction is because our um our snow is facing this direction, so we need to like turn that around. So angle. One four five. I think that bends it to this side. Um, you can keep on increasing. Again, I'll just use one four five. And it's placed on, on this angle, so it should start from here all the way down to this side. So now let's run that. Here, there you go. This is really nice. As you can see, it starts from here going downwards. Um, 
I think it's, it's like a lot of particles cancel so you say do that fast um here's the maximum number of particles I'll just take that down to a hundred depends on the type of like snow you want you can also increase that um to about two apply now let's run that again now here you go it looks like snow it looks nice um you can also like turn the angle if you want it like to any direction you want okay let's say i want it from here i can just rotate that um sorry let's say that upwards okay let's say you want to blow it from like the bottom oh snow does actually blow from here but if you want an effect that actually blows um the snow from the bottom you can also like pull it downwards like this, and as you can see, it blows in this direction. But snow does actually blow from the floor, it blows from the sky, so it's advisable to leave it up here. So that's how it's done, it's really simple.